And today we will talk about five laws. Um, I put three, actually it's five laws, five hidden family universal laws or rules that exist in every family. So the first one is the law of belongings. I belong to my family. I am the same as my mom, my father, my grandmother. I want to be a part of something bigger than me. Every person needs to belong to a group of people, uh, to be part of some organization, some um, social group. And family is one of the closest group that uh, everybody knows about, that uh, when we grew up within the family, it's people who are the most important to us. So everybody has the desire to be part of the family. The second law is the law of family loyalty. Uh, it's a hidden desire to be loyal to your family. If I am part of my family, then I want to be loyal to my family. I want to be um, as my family. I want to prove that I am worthy, that uh, I am a good person in my family. Uh, and a lot of people got stuck because of this. And I will talk about each law a little bit more in detail a little bit later. So uh, right now I will just go uh, over, will give you an overview of those um, five laws and then we will discuss each of the law separately. So the next law is the law of hierarchy. Basically, who is the boss in the family? Is it a parent? Is it a child? Is it a grandmother? Or maybe it's an uncle. That's very important. The family dynamic will change and you will have different psychological trauma, traumas or childhood traumas based on the who is the boss in your family. Um, the fourth law is the law of conservation. To preserve old tradition, each family has traditions, belief systems, something that they think is right. And each family is trying to save those traditions, uh, save those belief systems to maintain the stability. And uh, in order to maintain the stability within the family, in order for the new generation to be safe, secure and successful, right? Uh, those beliefs are going through one generation to another. But something that our grandparents believed in uh, might be not good in current times, right? So this also creates a lot of resentment, a lot of... Uh, it creates a lot of obstacles that's very hard to overcome in order to reach your goal. And the law number five is the law of giving and receiving. The law of balance and giving and receiving is very important between husband and wife and very important between children and parents. So those families laws are universal. They present in every family. They also work in a group or association. They work in a work environment. They work in a business. And once you understand how they work, you will be able to understand yourself better. You will be able to understand people around you. Uh, you will be able to understand your mother reaction, your boss reaction, your neighbor's reaction. <clears throat> and then you will know what's motivate them to do one thing or another. And then you can, of course, adjust your life. You can change your life. You can create a happy relationship. You can be successful. You can go and reach your dreams.